Hey there, fellow bookworms. Today, we're diving into the haunting and powerful world of Toni Morrison's Beloved. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel takes us on a journey through post-Civil War America, where the echoes of slavery still reverberate and the scars of the past run deep. Let's start with the historical context and setting. Picture this, it's the 1870s in Ohio, and our protagonist, Seethe, is grappling with the aftermath of enslavement. She's escaped from Sweet Home Plantation in Kentucky, but the trauma she endured there follows her like a shadow. Speaking of Seethe, her story is one of the most heartbreaking and compelling aspects of Beloved. She's a woman haunted by her past, particularly the unimaginable choice she had to make, to kill her own child rather than see her fall back into the hands of slavery. That kind of trauma leaves scars that run soul deep. But then enters Beloved, a mysterious young woman who appears at Seed's doorstep. She's ethereal, almost otherworldly, and her presence seems to embody the spirit of Seed's deceased daughter. Is she a ghost? A figment of Seed's imagination? Or something else entirely? Themes of memory, trauma, and the legacy of slavery weave throughout the narrative, like threads in a tapestry. Morrison doesn't shy away from exploring the psychological wounds inflicted by slavery, and how they continue to shape the lives of those who survived it. Now, let's talk symbolism and imagery. Morrison's prose is like poetry, rich with symbolism that resonates long after you turn the final page. From the haunting presence of ghosts to the flowing currents of water, every image serves to deepen the novel's themes and draw us further into its world. And speaking of drawing us in, Morrison's narrative structure and writing style are nothing short of mesmerizing. She masterfully weaves together past and present, blurring the lines between memory and reality in a way that's both disorienting and utterly captivating. But amidst the darkness, there are moments of light. Beloved reminds us of the power of community and relationships in overcoming adversity. It's through the bonds of family and friendship that Seed and others find the strength to confront their pasts and forge a path forward. Now, let's talk about that ending. It's a moment that lingers, open to interpretation. Some see it as a glimmer of hope, a chance for redemption and healing. Others find it more ambiguous, a reflection of the complexity of the human experience. Either way, it leaves a lasting impression. And finally, the legacy of Beloved in American literature. This novel isn't just a story, it's a masterpiece that continues to resonate with readers and scholars alike. Its exploration of slavery, memory, and trauma has left an indelible mark on the literary landscape, solidifying Toni Morrison's place as one of the greatest writers of our time. So, there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the world of Beloved. If you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend picking up a copy and experiencing its magic for yourself. Trust me, you won't be disappointed.